Chickasaw Turnpike from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The Chickasaw Turnpike is a short two-lane toll road in the rural central region of the United States state of Oklahoma. It stretches for 13.3 miles from north of Sulphur to just south of Ada. The Oklahoma Turnpike Authority owns, maintains, and collects tolls on the turnpike. The first section of the Chickasaw Turnpike opened on September 1, 1991. The Chickasaw resulted from a compromise between urban and rural legislatures. Originally, it was part of a now-canceled plan to connect southern and eastern Oklahoma with a longer turnpike. It was also intended to link Ada to the interstate system. A four-mile segment of the turnpike was transferred to the Oklahoma Department of Transportation, making it a toll-free road in 2011. Section 1. Route Description The Chickasaw Turnpike takes a southwest to northeast route, passing through only two counties, Murray and Pontotoc. The turnpike begins in Murray County at U.S. Highway 177, north of Sulphur. West of this interchange, the road becomes State Highway 7 Spur. The turnpike continues northeast into Pontiac County. Just north of the county line is a barrier toll plaza, the only plaza along the route. Beyond the toll booth lies an interchange serving the town of Roth. This is a partial interchange providing access to Roth for eastbound travelers and access to the westbound lanes from Roth. The Chickasaw Turnpike then ends at SH1. The Chickasaw Turnpike has only two lanes for the majority of its length. However, there is a short eastbound passing lane. The Chickasaw is the only two-lane turnpike in Oklahoma. Lightly traveled, the road is used by about 2,000 vehicles per day. Section 2. History The Chickasaw Turnpike was originally envisioned as a corridor running from Interstate 35 near Dallas to I-40 near Henrietta. Proposed by southern Oklahoma politicians, the turnpike was intended to promote economic development by connecting Ada to the interstate highway system. It was proposed at the same time as three other turnpikes, which would become the Kilpatrick Turnpike in Oklahoma City, the Creek Turnpike in Tulsa, and the Cherokee Turnpike, which bypassed a mountainous section of US 412 in eastern Oklahoma. Rural legislators objected to the Kilpatrick and Creek Turnpikes and moved to block them unless the Chickasaw Turnpike was built. Urban legislators relented and allowed the Chickasaw to be built as part of a compromise with legislation requiring that the Chickasaw be built before work on the other two turnpikes could begin. The turnpike was authorized in 1987. Governor Henry Bellman opposed the Chickasaw Turnpike, arguing it would be a money loser. Bellman had the turnpike built with only two lanes and shortened it to its current termini. Dewey F. Bartlett Jr., an OTA board member and future mayor of Tulsa, was later quoted as saying, quote, I think it stinks. We never wanted to build it. It was not anything we thought was appropriate. But in order to build the three turnpikes that were necessary, that is the only way they would build it. End quote. Bonds for the first section were approved in 1989. The bonds specifically permitted the turnpike to be transferred to the Oklahoma Department of Transportation and became a free road the only turnpike in Oklahoma eligible for this type of transfer. At the time, however, ODOT director Bobby Green said that his agency could not buy the turnpike due to a lack of funds. The Chickasaw cost nearly $44 million to build, equivalent to $64.4 million in 2015. Its first section opened on September 1, 1991. Originally, the turnpike began at SH-7, west of Sulphur, proceeding northeast to the US-177 junction, then continuing northeast on its present-day alignment. 
As part of his 1994 Turnpike package, Governor David Walters proposed examine, expanding the Chickasaw Turnpike to four lanes and extending it to Henrietta. The Chickasaw improvements were eventually cut from the package, which ultimately died when a commission overseeing the sale of bonds by state agencies voted against it. The OTA voted on November 11, 2002, to open discussions about transferring the Chickasaw to ODOT. The transfer would include a one-time payment of $14 million, equivalent to $20.5 million in 2015, for maintenance. The turnpike had deteriorated since its original construction. ODOT director Gary Ridley said that recurrent pavement problems necessitated constant repairs. He also mentioned that there were other issues, such as right-of-way problems, that could endanger ODOT's ability to draw from the Federal Highway Trust Fund. Speaker House pro tempore designate Danny Hilliard opposed the transfer on the grounds of the road's poor condition as well as objecting to the partial interchanges. The lawmaker called the Chickasaw Turnpike an albatross and said, quote, I told them that unless the Turnpike Authority brought that turnpike up to ODOT specifications and completed the interchanges at Roth and US-177 north at Sulphur, we are not interested in having that thing dumped on the taxpayers, end quote. To address these concerns, OTA began a $12.8 million, equivalent to $15.4 million in 2015, pavement rehabilitation project on February 9, 2006. Construction constraints required the entire turnpike to be closed in March, causing traffic problems and sulfur. The turnpike reopened on September 29, 2006. The Oklahoma Transportation Commission, which oversees ODOT, voted on August 6, 2007 to begin feasibility and cost-benefit analysis studies towards accepting the four miles of the turnpike between SH-7 and US-177. On August 1, 2011, the Transportation Commission voted to transfer the section of the turnpike west of US-177 to ODOT, designating it SH-7 Spur. The Commission noted that OTA had raised the new SH-7 Spur to meet ODOT standards and that expansion of the US-177 interchange to full access was the responsibility of ODOT. This was the first time that a turnpike had been transferred from OTA to ODOT. Transferring the turnpike was considered an inexpensive way to solve the problem of excessive traffic in sulfur. Section 3. Tolls. As of 2009, passengers of two axle vehicles, such as cars and motorcycles, pay tolls of 65 cents in cash, or 55 cents if Pike Pass is used. Drivers in vehicles with more than two axles, such as truckers, pay higher tolls. Tolls are collected at the single barrier toll plaza between the US-177 and Roth interchanges. Due to the partial interchanges, it is not possible to legally use the turnpike without passing through this toll plaza. The toll is the same regardless of the point of entry or exit. The Chickasaw Turnpike has been fully automated since shortly after it opened. As Governor Bellman predicted, it has been a consistent money loser since opening. Improvements are funded largely through proceeds from the more profitable Turner and Will Rogers Turnpikes. Section 4. Exit List. All exits are unnumbered. County Murray. Destinations. US-177, Sulphur. SH-7 Spur continues west, the current western terminus, the eastern terminus of SH-7 Spur. At mile marker 2.8, a toll plaza. In Pontoc County, at mile marker 8.2, Dolberg Road, Roth. Eastbound exit, and westbound entrance. Also in Pontoc County, mile marker 13.3, destination SH1, Ada, Mill Creek, the eastern terminus. 
C, Section 5, C also. The Oklahoma Portal, the U.S. Roads Portal. This article, this sound file, and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License, available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by dash sa slash 3.0. This article was read by user McKay Salisbury.